So hello everyone and welcome to my live reaction on Academia. It's 154, so we just see that Jack turned into a monster. Yeah, he just killed uh, the honest truth guy, right? Turned into a monster. Let's see what happens. I found it a little too much guru. Yeah, it's like, what's happening? I'm in an awful mood right now, but it's a little bit better. Yeah, so you, it is, yeah, season 3 is confirmed. Uh, uh, Today is also the final of season 2, so check that out later. Um, yeah, so it's a ridiculous situation. Erishan, the Grappa Senpai, Night Knight picking them. Yeah, uh, hmm, what happened to. He was cancelling Time Guy, right? Uh, uh, Razorhead. Yeah, which is probably. The, which is, I guess is the white hooded guy, that would be Kronor. Shizaki, yeah. Fused himself, someone. Hmm. Okay, a lot of fan art. Okay, here we go. What a tragic life had <laughs> Le Melian. I'm talking about that guy. If only you had gotten involved with Eri. Oh, yeah, yeah, he says it high now. Yeah, it's Deku and Naita here. We get Naita, I, I felt kind of assumed almost last week. Yeah, and now he's like, mm, yeah. And only all here, yeah. You wouldn't have lost your core forever. Lost forever? But I really don't think. I, I, I don't think it is. I mean, you still have Eri. The person that also can de you should have Ari and she both has the power to boost quirks and the power quirks. You that alone makes it feel like she can go plus or minus, right? So I don't think it's over. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, now I actually grab one of those pillows he's creating and. I guess. Uh, I guess he's like this Sydney great seat. I don't know. Yeah, like he has a kind of weird pyramid, right? Yeah, actually, his abilities are very, very strong as always. He's very, very strong as always. The um, Shizaki with his like repair and unrepair ability. It's always insanely strong. And then he's sending out a pillar. Like, how's doing this thing now? Is he like, did he, is he repairing it back to him? Or is it like sending it? Because he's having the ground at the same time. He's sending the ground to him. They just can't really understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nighta jumps in here. And we just know that Nighta has like no core to fight really with. So he's using a lot of different tools to try. Yeah, the beam that I have must be some of his uh, support tool, right? And he can see in the future touches him, which is pretty good. But yeah, if he can do it again, because he's limited. Yeah, he's throwing this weird stuff, right? It looks like um, pawns in a chess game. Okay, so they're just gonna run away instead. Once we catch up with Saki, I will have an racist cork. Please observe situation and move accordingly. Yeah, so it has like a. Uh... Yeah, oh, so they removed the razor head to the motor room. Weird. <laughs> no, Nighter is like. Could it be because you're obsessed with destroying other people's quirk because you're, is, you're very terrified with your own quirk being erased? Yeah, because so you're really afraid of Razor Head. Yeah, of course, Night is in a rage mode there. And now he creates more arms. His powers are so freaky! Okay, so he's building two arms behind himself or something. Right? Yeah, it's like, okay, more arms. It's like a class or something. Mmm, yeah, he's like, he's, he's not particularly fast, but yeah, he's like, this guy must be the teacher of uh, Lemelion. Yeah, because they have the same martial arts style. They have the same, they have the same uh, combat way. Yeah, yeah. Predict your action, move accordingly. I <laughs> can't read the future! Yeah, rescue combat trails.
Yeah, they could blow up the wall. Yeah, they could do stuff. And Ares crying, of course. Yeah, because she is like, yeah, I'm sorry I hurt you guys. Is Night Eye gonna die? I don't know, yeah. This week I'm trying to with enough time, surely enough, like a balance. Go over you and she's gonna always turn to the natural flow. Could it be that the very act of someone else featuring look them? Yeah, the death of all might decide to no longer read people's future. I suppose I can't play. Yeah, we see this blinded Peter. Is he gonna die now? Yeah, night night is getting freaking impaled here. What a hell! Yeah, night is getting impaled. I was like, can you see the future? Like he's bad. This I mean, night is so underpowered. <laughs> okay, they're really yeah. Like I'm gonna let him die. Yeah, he can still survive this though. I mean, he has like super techniques or whatever recovery girl. So, but it feels weird, especially that yeah, that felt like they were building up some thread at the end of there. But it feels weird that he's like, oh, I hate can read people's futures. Uh, okay, can't he read like the evil guy's future attack or so on? His power seems so incredibly useless. It's like, oh, I can read his future, but I can't avoid those attacks. Um, <laughs> it's like the worst trick ever. Yeah, he's getting impaled by all of this. Yeah, but that, it's what I'm saying. Like, his, his combat abilities are so bad, right? If he just touches them, he, he's just a normal person, right? If he doesn't touch you, he, his quirk doesn't really work. And then he has like a limit of like, one person per day or something. It's a really weird quirk. And how did he? Be, like he's supposed to be the number third, like number three, right? Rank three of all the heroes in strength and so on, or at least like kind of that thing. And I was like, how is that working? Because he's pretty weak. But yeah, he goes impaled. There. I don't think he's gonna die though. If it's like it's too much, for maybe he's gonna die. I don't know. His arms also impaled. That, yeah, that's the thing. He looks. Yeah, both his arm though and his stomach. Or is that future sighting that they saw? Like, I'm just confused now, yeah. Yeah, I know Deku was just pissed off, so he gets like a lot more anger, a lot more power. Yeah, I can't think Sean has more anger! I'm throwing a hammer! <laughs> yeah, 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 so he can kick away his. Yeah, one for all, 20%. Yeah, this is just tragic on yeah, they're like you know, throwing salt in your wounds here, so Night Tie might also die here then. So Gata kinda died within his powers, so no Night Tie might die as well. But it does feel a little weird, like if it, I have to say that. I, I'm not gonna be like, oh god, like this is crap, but that's not what I'm saying, but I think I think it feels a little weird that he's so weak. Like that that, that is this bugs me the wrong way because he's presented as being this amazing guy and then what we see so far is like he can throw some supportive Pawn weapons, and it's like supposed to be the number three guy. Like, he got owned, no, right? He got owned in like four, three, four pages, right? And this feels like, how did he get any respect of anyone, pretty much? Uh, as like a hero. I mean, he also could get into the future and say some stuff, but mainly he's like, uh, yeah, I guess he only was a psychic for all my right? Like, it, it, it doesn't feel like, this doesn't make any sense, I feel, honestly, in, in, the, in the My Hero universe, that he. <sighs> At least he's put up more of a fight now. If that the full page at least was like he's fighting this guy for at least a full chapter, but he fought him like three, four pages and he lost. Like he he, he got yeah he got defeated in like one page bit almost right. So um, it really is like well, was it wasn't even the point of that honestly. That, that, that he, he kind of bugs me a bit more because he can see the future. So if he saw his own future, it's like if I attack this guy, I'm gonna like die right. Uh, and he's just a normal person. Uh, with his, without his power, right? Yeah, like, and actually fighting. So it's like, yes, I know Deku is a kid, but Deku is vastly stronger than Night Knight in combat, right? So like, could you say, hmm, if I fight this guy, I'm gonna die. So if I send Deku out instead, uh, he cannot win. <laughs> he can, he can defeat this guy. Yeah, like, 
like interrupting Deku from the battle just seemed completely pointless because Deku had way better chance of winning. I know Deku is going like twenty percent, and that's going to win only from that right, from seeing him, from seeing Deku getting injured. So it's like he it seems really, really pointless. Uh, and obviously Deku isn't even running anyway. So he's, he, if you can see in the future, his action either it's like I got injured, so Deku goes crazy and defeats him. That's my plan. Or it's like I'm gonna get injured. Well, um, so they can, uh, can escape, but he can see the future, so no deck won't escape anyway. So it's like, no, no I, don't, I don't buy his powers, honestly. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, because of that alone, I have to say, I'm just kind of like, okay, he might die, but it's kind of like, pff, whatever in a way, right? Because like it's, it's, it's kind of stupid. I don't like it. Um, it doesn't make much sense. I mean, yeah, I mean, meta Euclid, I can only hope that he's been injured by purpose, and that would be crazy. But the only thing would be necessary have a future sight. So otherwise it would be like, oh, I can see the future. If I fight this guy, he's gonna kill me in like less than a minute. And this kid over here is gonna fight the man away. So like, what's the point of having him then, right? Uh, or it's like, oh, I, I can probably fight this guy for... <laughs> he's, he's, he's not the future, right? He's not his future, or right? his own future. So it's like, no, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. If he couldn't at least fight him until they could have just left the room, and he knows that he can't do that, I, I'm assuming, because he can see the future or some kind of future power, right? Some version of future sites, so he should know that he wouldn't be allowed to, you know, uh, entertain the bad guy for that long. So there's no point. He could just let Deku keep fighting. It would be a much better situation uh, for their team, right? So it's just, no, no, yeah. And the thing is that he's supposed to be this master strategist without his future site and with the, the best strategy guy ever, right? So, like, it's a bad plan. It's just really, really bad. But he just, I, mean, I guess we can say this though. He was really enraged though by, uh, I will give him this one, he was really enraged by seeing of course Le on losing his powers and that made him just say, oh you know, fuck my plans, I'm just gonna fight, yeah, I'm just gonna fight anyway, even though I'm gonna lose, I'm just gonna re re get my revenge. And, but that also means like, well if you see the future, we have some kind of future sight, wouldn't you also be like, well I'm, I can't win this battle, <laughs> so it's a bad plan to be enraged, but like that, that could, that, like, I could buy that though, he's in full, full enraged mode, so he didn't care about, he like, you know, Sure strategy, I'm just going in for it, I hope I win, like, I guess I can buy that a little more thinking about it, I can buy that a little more that he actually just went crazy. But it really feels out of character and he feels really weak.